to an educational video brought to you by California Center for Reproductive Medicine. Hi, I'm Dr. Lori Arnold. I'm a double board certified physician practicing reproductive endocrinology and infertility, helping couples have children for over 25 years. Welcome. This video will cover information about medical evaluations of gamete donors and embryos. Please meet Dr. Lori Arnold. Her practice is located in beautiful San Diego on the scenic Southern California coastline at her state-of-the-art embryology lab and surgical center. Advanced reproductive technology options in the United States of America are designed to help create a family, and we'll show you how this can be achieved with current medical evaluations and treatments performed at CACRM. We're going to show you how to proceed with in vitro fertilization, IVF, creation of your embryos, and transfer into a gestational surrogate in the United States of America. The medical evaluation of the egg and sperm provider and the embryo that has been created by the egg and sperm provider includes the egg provider's medical evaluation consists of testing for hormonal levels, infectious diseases, and genetic screening. A physical exam, along with an ultrasound, is performed to observe the normalcy of the ovaries and pelvic anatomy. If working with an egg donor, a drug screen is required, and the egg donor must undergo an extensive evaluation to determine if she is a good candidate. The sperm provider will need to have performed a semen analysis and lab work. The results of the semen analysis will determine whether fresh or frozen sperm may be utilized for the fertilization process. To proceed with the sperm freeze and transport to CACRM, the FDA eligibility will be required to obtain where the collection of sperm takes place. As surrogacy is legal in the USA, there are certain regulations by the FDA, federal government. Both egg and sperm providers are considered gamete donors, and both are required to perform the FDA eligibility in order to transfer embryos created into a gestational surrogate. The FDA eligibility process includes three components. If you are coming to the USA to create your embryos, all of the FDA eligibility may be done during your visit. Since donation is regulated by the FDA here in the USA, both the egg provider and sperm provider are required to pass a medical exam and the physician performing the examination must complete these specific forms. The second requirement for the FDA eligibility is the infectious disease testing through an FDA registered laboratory in the USA. Lastly, you will complete the medical history interview form required for the FDA eligibility and gamete donation. Freezing and transporting gametes or embryos to CACRM. You will also need to fill out the medical history interview form. For the donor physical assessment, you will need to schedule an appointment with your primary physician to perform the FDA physical. The FM12 form needs to be completed by your local physician. Please have them sign the form once your visit is complete. Also required is the infectious disease testing, blood and urine testing through an FDA registered laboratory in the USA. The FDA registered laboratory will ship a kit to your home. Bring this kit to your doctor or laboratory and follow the instructions. Your doctor's office or laboratory will need to collect your blood and urine sample and process exactly as the instructions outline. Both specimens will need to be sent to the FDA registered lab in the USA. Once all of the FDA coordination has been completed, our medical director, Dr. Arnold, will perform the FDA eligibility process required by our federal government for all donations. Please note, if embryos were created outside the USA using an anonymous donor without the FDA testing, USA clinics cannot accept embryos to transfer into a gestational surrogate. The next part of the medical evaluation involves testing for hereditary diseases by genetic carrier screening. This provides you and your doctor with information about your reproductive risks prior to or during pregnancy. While most babies are born healthy, with each pregnancy there is a small chance of having a baby with a severe hereditary disease. Genetic carrier screening helps determine what this chance is for you. This testing is highly recommended, especially if you are using an anonymous egg or sperm donor. A few questions to address. What is a carrier? Everyone has two copies of each gene. 
one from their mom and one from their dad. Being a carrier means that one copy of a gene has a change called a mutation, which causes it to not work properly. Carriers still have one working copy of the gene, so they typically do not have any health problems associated with carrying a mutation. Therefore, many people can be carriers of a disease-causing mutation without even knowing. Being a carrier, however, means there is an increased chance that your child could be born with a genetic disease. Could I be a carrier? The chance of being a carrier is based on your ethnic background and family history. However, some diseases are fairly common regardless of these factors. Screening for such diseases considering your ethnic origin and related conditions can help prevent the offspring from being affected. Some examples of the more commonly known inherited genetic disorders includes the following, such as cystic fibrosis or CF. It is estimated that 3% to 10% of Caucasians carry a defective CF gene, but do not have symptoms because a person must inherit two defective CF genes, one from each parent, to develop the disease. CF is the most common, serious, inherited disease in Caucasians and is more common in those of Northern or Central European background and Ashkenazi Jewish background. Thalassemia, people of Greek, Italian, Mediterranean, or Southern Asian descent experience a high incidence of this disease. About 3% of the world's population carries a gene for thalassemia. Other ethnic hereditary diseases include Tay-Sachs. This disease has a high incidence in Eastern European Jews and French Canadians. Sickle cell disease. Anyone with African ancestry should be screened for carrier status of this disease as one in 10 may be a carrier. How is carrier screening performed? Carrier screening is done through a simple blood draw or saliva collection. This advanced genetic screening of nearly 300 genetic diseases is intended to help identify couples and gamete donors with potential hereditary genetic disorders. What happens if both egg and sperm providers are carriers of the same genetic disease or already have a child with a genetic disease? At CACRM, we offer PGT and IVF as an option to minimize the likelihood of having a child with a genetic condition. This is done by using state-of-the-art technology of pre-implantation genetic testing, PGT. At the time of in vitro fertilization, IVF, the PGT genetic testing may be utilized to detect the same genetic disease in both egg and sperm providers and in the embryo. PGT can identify the presence of a single gene disorder resulting from an inherited mutated gene if both gamete providers are carriers of the same condition. PGT makes it possible to decrease their risk of passing the disorder to their child. PGT technology is also used to improve chances of a successful pregnancy and lower the risk for miscarriage. All 23 chromosomes and the sex chromosomes can be screened in the pre-implantation embryo prior to their transfer to the uterus of the intended mother or a gestational surrogate. An abnormal number of chromosomes, or medically known as aneuploid, can result spontaneously from the maturation of the egg or during the process of embryo division. It has been estimated that human embryos fertilized in vitro may contain chromosomal abnormalities in 50% or more of cases. Unfortunately, this percentage increases with maternal age. One of the most common reasons we perform PGT is to decrease the risk of having a child with a chromosomal abnormality such as Down syndrome. Embryos are screened for aneuploidy, missing or additional numbers of chromosomes. Aneuploidy is the leading cause of miscarriage and implantation failure when the embryo does not implant into the uterus. A common example of aneuploidy is an extra chromosome number 21, Down syndrome or trisomy 21. The risk of having a child with a chromosomal abnormality, such as Down syndrome, increases as a woman ages. Therefore, one of the most common reasons to have PGT performed is the mother's age, although aneuploidy can occur even in the young donor egg. The goal of PGT is to identify and not transfer an abnormal embryo. Instead, Dr. Arnold and her team at CACRM transfer chromosomally normal embryos into your gestational surrogate to achieve a successful pregnancy. 
Evaluation of Surrogate The gestational surrogate undergoes a detailed evaluation consisting of testing of hormonal levels, infectious diseases, vaccinations, and an ultrasound of her ovaries and her uterus. A hysteroscopy is performed that evaluates the uterine cavity to examine exactly where the embryos will be transferred. At the initial stage, the surrogate undergoes a criminal background check, medical records review, medical and psychological clearance to ensure that she is medically and psychologically stable and in good health to carry your baby through the process. Your gestational surrogate undergoes this evaluation before you meet her. CACRM has their own surrogacy program, thus streamlining this complex process. CACRM will guide you throughout your entire surrogacy journey. An overview of what we've discussed today. At California Center for Reproductive Medicine, we offer state-of-the-art evaluation, including genetic studies on the embryos and gamete donors, as an option to minimize the likelihood of having a child with an inherited genetic condition and to detect embryo chromosomal abnormalities, PGT. We invite you to schedule a consultation and discuss these treatments as an option on your journey towards having a healthy pregnancy and baby. Dr. Lori Arnold has specialized in reproductive medicine since 1992, and whether through the use of IVF, PGT, or third-party options, surrogacy and egg donation, Increasing your knowledge will help you decide the best path for you and your family. Dr. Arnold has an extensive experience working with couples and individuals in their own unique situations. CACRM IVF success rates exceed the national average thanks to Dr. Arnold's medical experience, skilled laboratory, and individualized personal care to each and every patient. It is through her dedication that she and her team are able to create families for many, just as you. It's our passion and life's work of ensuring happy and successful families will help you achieve your goals. For more information, please contact Dr. Lori Arnold and CACRM at www.cacrm.com.